This is Film Masters. On this episode, I'm going to show you the workflow for the little box of horrors, which is a little uh, sound effects box that we made in the previous video, where we used contact pickup mics to get the sound from the howling of our little percussion mallets into our computer. So if you don't have Adobe's Audition, which I'll be using in this episode, that's okay. You can use your own sound recording software. However, I'm gonna show you two ways. I'm gonna show you how to get the sound through a ambient reverb guitar pedal into a mixer into the PC, or if you don't have a reverb guitar pedal, I'm gonna show you how you can get the sound from that box into a mixer and straight into your PC. So. Let's get into this tutorial. I'm gonna plug in the one audio cable straight into our little box of horrors. I'm using a guitar pedal here to get the reverb. It is the Maris Mercury 7 guitar pedal. It is a $475 guitar pedal and it's really good. It has some nice natural reverb. Now I'm plugging this straight into the Yamaha mixer. It's an MG10XU, U standing for USB because it plugs straight into your PC. So what I'm doing is using the reverb here with a little box of horrors and I'm able to get the reverb here without the computer and I'm recording it straight into Adobe's Audition and that's going straight through from the mixer. So that's how I get my workflow to get the sound capturing from the little box of horrors that we created in the previous video and get it straight into the computer. Now, because of the expenditure of the Mercury 7, it's not a cheap pedal. In fact, it was actually created based on the sound track from Blade Runner. Um, so that's the company Meris actually trying to replicate that in the reverb. So if you can't or you don't have the funds to actually go out and buy a reverb like this, that's okay. Check out eBay. You can get them for uh, $45, um, sometimes even cheaper or get a secondhand one. Now, if you don't have a reverb pedal, that's okay. I'm gonna show you how to bypass that now. Um, and we're gonna use Adobe's Audition to do that. So first of all, we're gonna plug it in again. And this time we're gonna go straight in to our mixer. Now I'm using again the Yamaha uh, MG10XU. Uh, you can use any other type of way of getting your sound in, but what you're wanting to do is capture the sound. Generally, it'd be a good idea to put it through a mixer because that way you can uh, have a preamp in it and get some power into it so it picks it up. And then we're going to put it straight into Adobe's Audition and we're gonna jump into there now and I'll show you how we can add that reverb and get that nice horror sound or those howls that we're creating with this box. Okay, so I've got my little box of horrors. It is plugged in directly into a mixer. So now that that's all set up, what I'm gonna do, we're in Adobe's Audition, obviously CC 2018. Now this will work with any other door system. So all you need to do, I'm going to uh, go to waveform and set up a brand new file. I'm just gonna call this a uh, little box because it's gonna be our little box recording and uh, leave everything else as is and select okay. So all we need to do now is just select record. Now I do have it all set up and let me show you how I've set up in the preferences, uh, the uh, audio hardware. So what I've got is the device classes MME. Now, um, I do know that if some people have ASIO selected, uh, you can't press the space bar to uh, make it play properly. So make sure it's double ME set up. Now, here's the default input. Now, as you can see, the MGXU, which is my uh, mixer, is selected as the default input. So what that means is anytime my recording of my voice or, for example, uh, the little box of horrors I have plugged into the mixer, it will come straight into Adobe's Audition and allow me to record that sound. Now, as default output, my speakers are my uh, setup default. So therefore, my THX uh, speakers I've got set up will allow the sound to come out of Adobe's Audition. Now, you can set it up in line with the uh, Yamaha MG10XU. Uh, for example, and you can have speakers externally plugged in, so that is an option for you. However, majority of the time you'll be using your own PCs plugged into the computer, so leave that as is. Everything else, just leave it the same, select OK, and you're all ready to go and start recording in Adobe's Audition. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, grab the box and just put it close to me so I can start playing with it. 
make sound on the box when needed. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, and all I need to do now is just come down and just select record. And I'm going to start recording. <laughs> When I'm finished, all I need to do is press the space bar to stop. And obviously, I always top and tail. So I do know, for example, this part here is me starting to talk. And I want to remove that. However, I'm just going to play it. And we're going to listen in and just hear what we've actually recorded. <laughs> One thing you'll notice with this box, obviously, it makes howls, it makes you can tap it, you can uh, uh, rub your fingernails over the top of it. Um, and what you're doing is you're actually capturing elements of sound. So that way you can put that on the multi track and actually start to mix it and make your own soundtrack. So you may, for example, put some beats in and record the beats, and that's your beat for your uh, soundtrack. And then you may have some howling in there that you want to put in there. For example, parts when an actor is walking through the mysterious woods, for example. Um, or you want to build some tension in your soundtrack. Um, and obviously, uh, you can rub your fingers over it and play around with it. So, But the thing is, we don't have a uh, guitar pedal plugged in to give us reverb. So what I'm going to use is the... Uh, the software-based version of that in Adobe's Audition. So I'm going to go and uh, obviously I'm going to make it on this track. So I'm going to uh, select Effect and I'm going to go to Reverb. So this is where it's located and select Reverb. Now, obviously in the presets, I can do the drop down. There's a lot of different presets in there. Play around with it. Uh, let it uh, play out so you can hear what each one does. For example, I may select um, Megaphone, for example, and select Play making sure that the green toggle is on so that way it will continuously toggle through um, toggle loop here so I'm going to press play and just hear what it sounds like and as it finished through I need to do is press now let's say for example I don't like that let's do the drop down I like uh, ethereal um, ethereal is actually quite a nice sound and it's very close and not a hundred percent close to the Maris 7 but it is very close and obviously it's a lot cheaper because it's already there for you I'm going to press play and listen and hear what it sounds like I'm just going to drag the uh, the bar all the way back to the beginning <laughs> going to stop it there and as you can hear got a nice reverb in there obviously you can play around with the dry and the wet features of it um, or the uh, perception for example um, or even the delay times if you're wanting to play around with it but I'm happy with that I'm just going to select apply and so now I've got my finished waveform that has the nice reverb on it so I've taken our little box of horrors which is just a basic box that's got a little uh, pickup mic in it um, I've got it plugged in straight into our mixer. Again, it doesn't have to be the Yamaha MG10XU. It can be any other type of mixer that you have out there. Uh, Behringer has some good ones. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, make sure that you get a mixer. You're going to need one anyway, especially if you're doing film and television work, because there is going to be that chance or that time, for example, that you're going to be sitting here like I am at the moment and talking through a microphone that's going into a mixer, which is going straight into a computer and you're going to be recording that sound. Now, when you're finished, obviously, all you need to do is come up and select your file and select Save As. Um, I'm going to let it go straight to my desktop. I'm just going to leave it as little box. Again, we can select Wave, or if we want an MP3, I can come up and uh, select the uh, MP3 file uh, and leave everything else the same. Select OK, and that's done. Now, when you're done, for example, uh, you may want to select a multi-track. I might leave that as a little box mix. Just move the little box out of the way. I'm knocking into it. So once we've done that, now it's just a matter of uh, mixing our sound. So I might take the MP3, for example, and pop that straight on the timeline. Um, you can make a cut on it. Cut the file. 
But the thing is, the whole idea is you're going to have multiple sounds that you're going to be making with this little box. Um, you may even have some audio in there or other sound effects, guitars, anything like that. You, this is just the basic, obviously, explanation of my workflow. Um, and then obviously, once you've got that built, it's just about playing it. So again, when I'm recording, if I'm recording th through the little box of horrors and then I am putting it through a guitar pedal, then I have that going straight into my mixer. Now that is how I get the sound from my little box of horrors with the workflow into the computer. If you want to become a Filmmaster subby and subscribe to this channel, please do. If you want to like us on Facebook and on Twitter, you can follow us on those as well. And until next time, don't just film it, master it. Thank <laughs> you.